So in this video, we're going to talk about Lewis. Lewis is a service provided by Microsoft and it stands for Language Understanding Intelligence Service. So I'm going to start with an example to kind of illustrate what Lewis will do. If we take an example of turning on a bedroom light, the utterance for turning on a bedroom light might be, turn on the bedroom light, please. So this is the English sentence that we're speaking to our bot. From that utterance, we can work out the intent, which is to turn the light on. And as part of language understanding, we also identify things called entities. And in this context, the entity is a room and it's the bedroom. So Lewis will take the utterance and effectively derive the intent and the entity from that sentence. So let's quickly recap. The utterance is a plain English sentence. The intent is what is the speaker trying to do? And the entity is what thing is the speaker referring to? Remember that we're dealing with plain English and we're dealing with plain English from different people and different people have different speech patterns. So we could have someone saying, turn on the bedroom light. We could have someone saying, please turn on the light in the bedroom and so on. So how do we deal with these variations? Well, as you might have guessed, we can use Lewis. We pass in an utterance and we get back intent and entities. Now for this to be able to work, we need to define our intent, we need to define our entities, and we need to train it. So all these things combined, the entities and the intent, are what is referred to as a, as a model. So we train the model. So let's take a look at how we do that. I've logged into lewis.ai. The first time I log in, I'm greeted with this um, page that shows me my um, applications. So these are effectively our models that we've, we've defined. You're gonna go to new application. We're gonna create a new application and we're gonna fill in some details. So I'll call it, call it um, automation. The application usage scenario is going to be bot and we just pick an application domain. So here I'm going to say automation and I'm going to click add and that'll take a moment to create the application. So this is our design surface for our model. You can see on the left hand side, we've got things that we talked about previously, the intent, the entities, pre-built entities, so things that we can, and we have this interface in the middle which allows us to enter utterances remember utterances are plain English at the point of entering these utterances we can use that to categorize them and effectively train the model so the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to create a couple of intents and I'll just quickly show you how we do that so I'm going to call this intent turn light on and then we type in an example of a plain English utterance that would trigger the intent. So I'm going to say something like, please turn on the light in the bedroom. And you can see it's categorized it here. We've only got one intent at the moment, but if we had multiple intents, um, we'd see it in there. In fact, I'm going to add another intent just, just so we can differentiate between the two. So let me add turn light off. And again, I'm just typing in an example utterance. Okay, so now we've defined our intent that we're interested in dealing with. I'm going to come in and add an entity for our room. I'm just going to type room here. And then I need to associate that entity with the two intents. So I'm just going to come into intent. I'm going to add an action mapping and I'm going to, to this, I'm going to add a parameter. I'm going to say it's a, the parameter is a type of room and I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it room. So I'm going to click save and then I'm going to come into turn light on and do exactly the same. So add parameter and save that. So now we've defined our entities. We've associated those entities with the two intents that we've also defined. Okay, so now we've defined our intents and our entities. We need to train the model. Um, so the, the, the way you typically do this is you'd get um, some sample data from people, from different people, as many different people as you can, as you can get. Um, so you can train it on different variations of English language. To simulate that, I've got a text file here with, with some different variations in, which I'm going to enter into Lewis and use it to categorize our intents. 
So I'll just talk you through the first one and then I'll do the rest off camera just so you're not having to watch me type everything in. But you can see I've entered turn on the bedroom light. Lewis hasn't identified this as a as a intent, so I need to tell it that it's turned light on. And then I can click any of these words and articulate it as a room. Okay, and then I just click submit. Okay, so that's one. I'm gonna add the rest of them, cut back to the video, and we'll see how we actually train it once these, these values have been entered. Okay, so I've taken a moment to enter those um, utterances into Lewis. Um, we can have a look at those utterances if I click on review labels and then click on show all labeled utterances. And you can see it's showing all the utterances that I've entered, the prediction, uh, confidence, and it's where it's identified the different entities that are a part of the intent. Okay, so briefly want to talk about training the model. Down here in the bottom left hand corner we've got a train button. Periodically the model will automatically retrain but if you're entering utterances and you want to immediately train the model and, and see the result that your training has had you can click this button and it'll do it immediately. So I'm going to I'm going to add a new utterance. So we've, we've talked about in the sample data we've talked about the bedroom light, the living room, the kitchen, the bathroom, the utility. But if I if I was to put in a different room, ideally we'd want Lewis to identify it as a, as being a room. So I'm going to say, can you turn off the light in the spare bedroom? And hopefully it'll identify that it's turning off the light, yeah. And you can see it's also identified the room as being spare bedroom. You know, it's quite intelligent. It's worked out that even though it's recognized bedroom previously, um, because of the context in which spare bedroom appears, the artificial intelligence behind, behind Lewis has recognized that as a, you know, that looks like a room. So that's correct. It's got an 87% confidence. I'm just gonna submit that because that's right. So again, I can train that. The next step is to actually publish um, our model as a web service so it can be consumed. So the way we do that is we click this publish button up here and then we click publish web service. Now the web service has been published over this endpoint and I can type a query in here and the query is the, you know, the plain English. So I can say something like um, turn off the kitchen light please press enter and you can see that it's worked out that um, the intent the most likely intent is to turn the light off the predicted accuracy is 98 percent so it's pretty confident that's what it is and then it's identified that the room is kitchen if i was to type a different query like um, turn on the garage light you can see it's identified turn light on with a 91% confidence. And it's also identified the garage as being a room. You know, it's done a really good job there. And, you know, even better, we've got a web service here, a RESTful service that we can consume with the client of our choosing. You know, so we could use, we could have a website consuming this, we could have an app, or we could have a bot. And that's something that I'll talk about in my, um, my Node.js and .NET bot framework videos. But I just wanted to give you a flavor of, um, you know, Lewis and, and what it looks like and some of the concepts that you need to be aware of. And also the, the idea that once you've defined your model, you can publish it as a web service. Thank you for watching. If you found this video interesting, please leave a like. Feedback, positive or negative, please leave it in the comments below.